let's start from topic one assignment so that there is a continuity uh, in checking homework so let's go through uh, so you've chosen this picture for your uh, assignment and let's see your drawing I think the drawing process that you started is correct um, Overall, I think the face is looking good. The features are drawn perfect. It's just that lengthwise, I think the portrait is a bit long. Uh, or it could be a little bit wide. So I think uh, wide is fine as per the uh, measurements of uh, the features. I think lengthwise, it, you could reduce it a bit. Especially like chin. Uh, so uh, that is the only issue. Rest, I think uh, you did a good job and really like all the lines that you did for to understand the uh, placement of different features and how they affect uh, in the drawing process. So let's see your next assignment. Okay, so we working on fine. So you worked on uh, the second assignment, which was uh, this picture, and I guess you were supposed to block the shadow shapes as well or mark the shadow shapes. So. Okay, so the drawing process seems correct in terms of, you know, placing the features. So you have the eye wall intersecting the corner of the lip and the nose, etc. But the outline of the face, it's a bit off. Um, you see, it's coming down and there is a circular which is right next to the nose part. Here, the distance between the nose and the chin is very... Uh, it's it's very less but in your reference it's quite wide so there is some mistake I, either you could pull pull the nose a bit out so and fix this shape from here and also the distance between lips and the end point of the face even this is wide so and that is the issue apart from that the features are working uh, let's see the next assignment Okay. Okay, so for your next assignment, what happened is I think it, it looks more like a free drawing. Uh, I, I really want to see all those lines of measurement. See, drawing, whenever we are doing anything realistic work, drawing plays the most important role until unless your drawing is not perfect uh, how like if, even if you invest you know 100 hours in you know getting uh, in your charcoal or oil you know, rendering each and every part but if the drawing is not correct the portrait will never look correct so uh, um, drawing needs to be very precise measurements how measurements are taken and that is very important so i think the drawing is a bit off in this particular uh, drawing because i don't see any construction lines right so construction lines are very important uh, secondly blocking off the shadow shapes i think you did a good job uh, on this let's see uh, you don't have to outline the arm right uh, just mark the shadow shape see outlining the eye makes it pop out whereas 
technically when you see your face the eyes are resting inside like the eyeball is way inside your face compared to the nose so uh, outline uh, ignore outlining any of the features uh, they make it look a bit artificial and also like this nostril here I think this has to be covered in the shadow shape that's why it's looking a bit odd uh, let's see the picture reference see this is the shadow shape so when you squint this complete part is in shadow which you need to block there's no hard line here underneath the eye the shape of the eyeball there is a dark portion here there is a dark portion here so these are like minor things but they uh, make a huge difference here, here you have removed uh, this this could instead of you know drawing this nostril just let it be loose and uh, something with a very soft edge and blend it into the shadow shape okay let's see your next I think the drawing is good blocking shadow shape excellent I could really feel the light source so excellent work and then blending is also looking good so I think you could work a little more on different values for, see here we have two values one is white and then the second one is the shadow shape and maybe the third one which is the darkest part then we have one, two, three, four, around four values in this we have around five values. So push it towards even more values. So here you can see these lines which are like highlight, they are one value, then one which is next to is two, three, four, five. The, there are two darker shades, one is little visible and one is really lost in the background. So around 5-6 values but overall I think uh, with this the concept of light and shadow is clear and the assignment submitted is it's, it's good. okay so i already did a review uh, that never outline the eyes try to fill it uh, with charcoal overall i think this is good maybe you could work a little more uh, into the shadow shapes never be scared of you know completely filling up the shadow shape because we don't want details in the shadow shape if you see details in shadow shape that means you see double the details in the lighter area or where the light is falling so usually we need the shadow shape empty with no single or two values not putting any details adding any details into the shadow shape where it's working towards the lighter area so overall, uh, I think these sheets are looking good. Let's see the next one. Okay, so now we started painting. Uh, I think you did a great job. This is looking much better than your charcoal work. I could read a wide range of values. And the drawing is perfect. Great job. I really like this assignment. Let's see the next one. Okay, so you did a copy of Rembrandt. Again, uh, there are two things that you need to keep in mind. One is the back, uh, the first one is drawing. Sorry, there are three things that you need to keep in mind. The first is the drawing. Second is blocking the shadow shape. And then uh, third is the um, making marks so I think the drawing is quite good there, there are a lot of details going around the eye and the lip part and I think you are able to achieve uh, the details the drawing looks good 
blocking of the shad shape like here underneath the nose near the eyes and rest of the body but I think you did good uh, it's just that you need to pull uh, add little more more values maybe work with little more thicker color instead of rubbing a small quantity of color you can go for a little more thicker color but I think overall it's a it's a satisfying work keep on practicing more of Rambin uh, uh, references and uh, this will definitely help improve your painting skills and for the next sign where you were supposed to do a portrait I think the picture chosen is is good but it's lacking the strong light and shadow shape right so here earlier where we did uh, this assignment see I could feel a strong light coming from this direction creating beautiful shadows so to show anything 3d uh, shadow shapes are very important uh, so next time whenever you do a reference make sure that you have your model in one in single light source with forming a sharp, sharp shadow on the other side uh, overall I think you have painted beautifully what more you could do is around this area when you see the reference this area has a bit of purplish pinkish color compared to this area this seems to be more greenish bluish so this will help uh, the, the face uh, with volume if you add a little pinkish purplish color around here and a little greenish and also push the highlights so on the top of the nose cheek side maybe uh, the lower lid the upper lid uh, the lower lip uh, chin these are certain areas where there are strong lights so here you could actually increase the amount of lighter strokes uh, lower lip chin you did but you could increase a little more but I think uh, it's a beautiful portrait well done ok so you are uh, the next would be again uh, chagal practice of portrait and then we have male and female torso understanding the uh, anatomy and the last one is a commission work where you need to do a portrait uh, of your choice.